Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to paint these lovely wintry anemones. I'm using a watercolour studio kit from homehobby.com and it's a beginner kit and I'm using all the materials that are in it. This is the paper, it's £140. I'm using all the watercolours that come in the set and this is the Prussian blue. I'm just mixing some up to create a sort of really pale light blue. There's a bit of green in my palette as well that I'm picking up and mixing with it. I'm just creating a really light watery wash to start painting the anemones. I start by just wetting the paper. You can see slightly here I've got a bit of colour on my brush still, that doesn't matter. And I'm just painting in what I call blobs <laughs> to um, create a shape of the anemone. Don't be too pernickety about this, um, just let it blob onto the paper. And then you can start dropping in the watercolour paint and adding the lighter wash and then coming back in with a darker wash and letting it all blend in together. I'm creating a little bouquet here and I thought I'd paint three anemones. So just do the same thing, just put down the watery wash first, then start dropping in the colour and um, drop in more water as you go. And remember, normally flowers, the petals are darker in the centre and they get lighter as you go out of the flower. Here I'm using one of the watercolour pencils that come in the box and I'm just dragging the paint and also drawing with the pencil um, the veins in the flower and encouraging the watercolour to move where I want it to and also creating the feel of the petals. Here I'm using a small water squirty bottle and I'm just dropping in some water just to add a bit of texture and fun to the painting. I'm now mixing a little black with the Prussian blue and I'm going to use it to create the very dark centres of the anemones. Here I'm just blotting out the very centres just to create a highlight. I'm now using a black water soluble pencil to draw in the stamens of the flower. If you look closely at an anemone, they have lots of tiny little stamens with little black dots on the ends where all the pollen is. Here 
To create the effect of the pollen falling on the petals, I'm sanding the black watercolour pencil. This gives a lovely powdery effect. I'm now just putting in the ends of the stamens with the black pencil. Don't be worried to move your paper around to make it easier for you to draw. I'm now adding some more Prussian blue to the bluey black, black mixture that we created for the centres of the flowers and I'm going to create some berries. Once I've got all my berries in place, I'm coming in with the black watercolour pencil and I'm drawing in some extra berries and giving them all stems. I'm now mixing in some of the light green to the bluey green mixture we mixed up earlier making it a bit more greener and I'm going to start painting some foliage. I paint the foliage just with really simple brush strokes just press down and lift off and you get lovely leaf shapes. I made a little mistake here and dropped some paint but I covered it up with the leaf shape it didn't really show after that. Just carry on adding leaves and foliage wherever you think it looks good. Don't forget to add some more interest by adding a dark green and some more Prussian blue to make dark leaves. This helps give the painting depth and interest. Remember you can move the paper around to make it easier for you.
I decided to add a few more berries. And then I added some different leaf shapes to give it more interest. I then came in with the blue watercolour pencil to draw in the veins of the leaves. I then drew in Shape, leaf shapes with the watercolour pencil just to add a bit more interest. I then blotted out some highlights on the berries just to make them pop. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. And also, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.